our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Bader the champion, Nemkov the challenger. 37 years of age for Bader against 28. That 37 means years of experience. Will that be the difference in this fight? I like how you put that, partner. Here is Michael C. Williams. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator MMA Live on Paramount Network from Mohegan Sun Arena. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Light Heavyweight World Championship. Sanctioned by Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulation Chairman James Gessner, President of Sports and Entertainment Mr. Tom Cantone, Chief of the Mohegan Tribe Lynn Malerba, and Director Mr. Mike Mazzulli. And now, introducing first the Blue Corner at six foot, weighing in 203.9 pounds. Entering his first Bellator World Title fight, he brings 11 professional victories, just two losses. From Staryosko, Russia, presenting the challenger, Vadim Nemko. And across the cage, the champion fights out of the red corner. At six foot two, weighing in 204 pounds even, the reigning two weight class Bellator world champion in his second defense of his light heavyweight strap. Tonight stands with 27 professional victories, five defeats from Gilbert, Arizona, the defending Bellator light heavyweight world champion, Ryan Darth Vader. And when the action begins, your referee, Kerry Hatley. Ryan Bader, Vadim Nemkov. John, you talked about the age, the experience. I bet if you ask Ryan Bader, who's better, the 37-year-old version or the 27-year-old version, Ryan would say the 37-year-old version. No doubt about it, he'd be right. Here we go! Tonight's Fight Clock brought to you by Geico, the champion in the red gloves, the challenger in the blue gloves. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Bader with the combination. John, you talked about in your keys that he cannot let Nemkov move him backwards, push him back. And that's what Nemkov talked about, taking, like, maybe a little bit of what Anthony Rumble Johnson did against Ryan Bader. Yeah, there's no doubt if you watch Ryan Bader's fights, he is comfortable coming forward, but to fight going backwards, just as a lot of his offense just dissipates. So if Nemkov can force him backwards, that's gonna take away a lot of the offensive attack from Brian Ray, Brian Bader. Early in his career, the knock on Bader was that anytime you were able to bully him around the cage, he had problems. He's remedied that with confidence in winning fights and winning world championships. But can he do that against someone like Nemkov? He's been nothing short of spectacular since his move to Bellator. Well, one of the things that I thought was gonna be something that's gonna be different for Ryan in this fight is he's been fighting heavyweights, and it's just the fact heavyweights are not as fast as the light heavyweights, and so is the speed of Nemkov gonna be a problem for him in the beginning of this fight? He's, he's now facing off against a guy that has the speed that he has had the advantage of in all his prior heavyweight fights. I also said the whole week, Ryan Bader to me is better at the heavyweight division. And him having to make this cut down, he said he's felt great, he said he looked really good. He felt good in camp. But this all doesn't translate sometimes in a fight against someone who is young at 27 years old, reaching their prime. Nice combination landed by Nemkov. Josh, that brings us back to kind of the hybrid heavyweight conversation that we had earlier with Nemkov's teammate, Valentin Moldovsky. That said, don't forget, the majority of the career of Ryan Bader has been spent in 205. His first heavyweight fights were basically in the heavyweight World Grand Prix. 
But at heavyweight, he's just so much more athletic than everybody in that division. You know, so that he's able to utilize his speed with his stand-up. He's able to power double guys and get them down. And when he does get them down, they just can't get up. We saw that with Matt Mitrione. This is the problem he's having right now. John, John pointed to it and alluded to this, is that it's the speed factor. He's not used to dealing with the guys that are back down at 205 that have speed. Well, he's dealing with the top contender in Vadim Nemkov. His toughest test at 205. But Ryan did point out throughout this whole week, the one thing he wants to do is drag this fight into the deep waters. He wants to get him into that third and fourth and fifth round and see where he fights there. Because like he said in the Phil Davis fight, he slowed down a lot in that third round. Well, he's absolutely right. Like I, I've been around Vadim Nemkov since he was an amateur. Did his amateur uh, title fight in Russia. And I was the referee for his first professional loss. And it was a loss that he, it was a 10 minute round, but he beat up his opponent for the entire round, but he exhausted himself in doing it, wasn't able to get rid of him. And at the end of the round, he couldn't get off of the mat. And that's how the fight ended. He didn't, he didn't take any damage. But this is what Ryan needs to do right here. Put Nemkov on his back. This is very important for Ryan Bader right now. Keep him there. And the last time Nemkov was defeated was in a 10-minute first-round fight. Good job. He's very nice. He has good wrist control here. He's doing, he's doing a good job of turning to his side to try and elevate to get to the armbar or the triangle. Vadim Nemkov told us that he spent some time training with the Russian national freestyle team at the Russian Olympic Training Center. He said it casted any doubts I had about my wrestling skills. Well, he just showed you on the ground. Everything he was doing was what you want to see out of something. You saw how he was turning to one hip, side of his hips or to the other. He was creating positions that he was able to move his body easily. And pushing Bader back, making it to where Bader's having to bring his arms over the top. Not an easy thing to do. Nemkov shaking that one off. And you feel like this can end with one strike. In the corner of Ryan Bader, they said you had him a couple of times. The family All right, here we go, gentlemen, round looking three, to cheer him on. Let's go to work. Family watching. And we begin round number two. Bader and Nemkov. Round one, back and forth. Big John, how do you score? It was a close round, but if you take a look at what happened in the round and who landed the cleaner, better shots, it was Vadim Nemkov, in my opinion, he gets the round. Josh, you concur? I concur. Hey, we're like medical men now. Yeah, well, he, he got upset when I didn't ask him earlier in the prelims as well, so I don't want him mad at me. I'm really into this fight. Right now. What'd you say? <laughs> oh. That's a clean shot. Yep. Ryan Bader's got the power. The, the issue that I have with what he's doing right now is he keeps lunging in with the water. Oh, he got hurt. Shot. He got stunned right there, Josh. Ryan saw him walk back a little bit as well. The speed has been the factor. Speed kills. We've talked about this all the time, John. Big swing and going by Nemkov. Straight back. Every time that Nemkov is throwing, instead of stepping off to the side, you're seeing Ryan start to go but he's saying there was an eye poke. Ready? Okay, here we go. Time Ryan in. should take more Ready time to right there and clear himself out. And he's ready. Right back at it. Looked like he caught just the edge of the glove. Might have been the glove itself, not an actual finger. Where the glove opens up into the finger, and sometimes there's a little tassel that's there, and sometimes it'll catch the eye. Randy Couture knows all too well about that. Ryan Bader needs to not lean his body, his upper body back. He needs to shuffle his feet back and then circle out. And he's having a hard time with that speed right now. One of the things we talked about, Ryan cannot go backwards in this fight. He needs to force Nemkov to go backwards, and Nemkov is forcing Ryan to fight going backwards. Nemkov looking very good thus far. 
Good movement, good speed, explosiveness. I think also what Ryan Bader needs to do is get on the wrestling a little bit more. Make him be fearful of the wrestling. Not one time is, you know, one of my keys to victory. That blast double, he's so good at it and is changing the levels with it. But, you know, it's easy to say he needs to do it, but he's feeling something out of Nemco. Oh, big impact oh, oh, he's done. Yeah. It's done. It's over. Can he survive? Hater trying to hold on. Wow, Ryan Bader is tough. Ryan Bader trying to get back up. Ryan's trying to hold on here. My goodness. Everything he can, crab and gloves, everything. I don't blame him. He's in deep trouble here. There's too much time left on this clock. He's taking a lot of shots. He's up. At yeah, least for now, though. It's that's done. It, it. it is all over. Vanim Nemkov is the new Bellator light heavyweight champion. Wow. We have talked about how good of a fighter he is, Josh. We talked about his speed. We talked about his striking. That striking element was the difference in this fight. Three, oh. Ah! This whole thing was set up with the combinations earlier in the fight, and now followed up with a beautiful head kick. And the reason why it worked is because every time Ryan Bader backed up, he backed up, reaching out with his hands, and he leaned his upper body back. He didn't move his feet with him. Look, you see it shot. right there. He turns his head and hits square to the back of the head, but that's a legal shot. Ryan's the reason that the shot landed to the back of the head, so that is a fair, bl fair blow. And from this point on, Ryan was just trying to hold on, survive. He did a great job, but that is a huge shot to have to try to work your way through. Beautiful kick, and then you see Nemkov. You saw Ryan get to his feet. He got back up, and when he got back up, He's turning his head away from Nemkov. He can't see the shots coming. When you don't see him coming, you're just not fighting smart too much. Big win and new world champion, Vadim Nemkov. A little bit of redemption. A little bit. There it is. And for the first time in a major organization, we have a Russian light heavyweight champion. It is that man, Vadim Nemkov. Vadim Nemkov finishes Ryan Bader. And wow, what a dominant performance by the Russian. He said, I do not want revenge. My aim is to show that Fedor's school is very strong. We can fight with high quality sportsmen. I think he just showed the world that that, my friends, is the truth. Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Three minutes, two seconds into round number two by TKO. He is the new Bellator light heavyweight world champion, Vadim Nemko. Big John McCarthy with the new champion. Wow, first thing I want to say is congratulations. That was a beautiful performance. You were outstanding throughout that. You were able to back Ryan Bader up in that fight. Was that an element you thought was key in getting a victory? Вторым номером он работает плохо и теряется, когда его атакуют, бьют. Это был мой план. Я его придерживался, и он принес свои плоды. Yeah, that was his plan. Uh, when they studied his his film, they they saw that Ryan Bader doesn't do very well when he's backing up, when he's getting bullied. So his plan was to constantly move forward, and obviously it paid dividends. When you hit him with that high kick and it landed right up against the backside of his head, you knew you had him hurt. Did you think you were going to finish right at that moment? Were you surprised at how long he was able to stay in the fight? When he hit him with that high kick and it landed right up against the backside of his head, you knew you had him hurt. Did you think you were going to finish right at that moment? Were you surprised at how long he was able to stay in the fight? 
а, и после этого а, ты как бы а, начал атаковать. Ты думал, что это уже будет конец боя, и ты был удивлен, как долго он выдержал твои удары. После того, как я попал э, ногой в голову, я начал его добивать и удивился, что судья очень долго останавливал бой. Я его отправил еще, наносил три раза, э, ну, добил и выиграл бой. He said, I was actually more surprised that the referee wasn't stopping the fight, but, you know, I, I, I sent him to the canvas three times, uh, three different times, but, you know, I did what I had to do and, and won the fight. You are the first fighter from Russia to win a light heavyweight title here in North America with a promotion. How important is it to you that you get to take that belt back to your two little girls? Ты первый российский боец, который выиграл бой, то есть выиграл пояс в этой весовой категории. Насколько это важно для тебя? Быть чемпионом этого весового категории. Для меня это очень важно. Я для России сотворил маленькую историю. Возможно, мы с Бейдером дрались как одни из лучших бойцов мира в нашей категории. Есть в UFC ребята, но я считаю, что мы их можем победить. И мы с Бейдером, а в данный момент я считаю себя лучшим чемпионом в мире. Uh, he said it's, it's very important for me. Uh, you know, he feels like uh, him and Ryan Bader are in top two light heavyweights in the world right now. He said, I know there's a lot of he light heavyweights in the UFC, but I feel like both of us could beat either one of them, you know, any of them. So he feels like right now he's the best light heavyweight in the world. Well, I'll tell you what, that was an outstanding performance. Congratulations on being the new Bellator light heavyweight champion.